Tom here from Learn Systems. We're going to talk about Bitwarden, the open source security password manager. But I know some people think open source and they think it might be insecure, etc. They've gone through audits, they've gone through all this. We're going to cover a couple of those details. But managing passwords is very challenging. I will mention that we've been using Bitwarden now for just about seven or eight months ago. We moved over from LastPass. Now, I still think LastPass is a good product. So if you want to use LastPass, I have no reason not to use it other than it's not open source and doesn't have a self-hosted version. Those two checkboxes Bitwarden has, and I thought that was great. Now, before you think I'm a paid shill from Bitwarden, which someone will accuse me of anyways, no, Bitwarden did not influence this video in any way. Matter of fact, I pay for licenses for Bitwarden. So take that for what you will. There's still someone who that will not satisfy, but hey, I, at least I disclosed it and follow my ethics policy if you want to understand better about how we do disclosures on this channel. This channel is about products we use and why we use them in my essentially biased opinion because I like the product. So I will say I'm biased towards liking Bitwarden, but I'm not biased because money was thrown at me for uh, my bias. So I want to talk about why you might want to consider using Bitwarden, some of the ins and outs of password managers and reducing your threat level, because that's what all this is about when it comes to security. You can never get your threat to zero, but you can do things to help mitigate and reduce your threat surface. Bitwarden is one of those tools in my toolbox. Before we dive into that, let's first if you'd like to learn more about me or my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a short project, there's a hires button right at the top. If you'd like to help keep this channel sponsor free, and thank you to everyone who already has, there is a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you're looking for deals or discounts on products and services we offer on this channel, check out the affiliate links down below. They're in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store. We have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics you've seen on this channel. Now back to our content. And we'll start right here at the Bitwarden page, open source password management for you and your business. And just because it's open source doesn't mean it's secure. That is something where people conflate that and they think because the source code's available that, oh, that means it's been audited and people went through it and there's no holes in it. No, that costs money to actually have proper security auditing. They have gone through security auditing. They paid not once, but twice to have companies audit their code. So they have gone through security auditing. So one, the source code is available. Two, it has been vetted. Um, it's not just a pile of code that's just available to the internet, but people haven't really taken the time to audit and poke at it. Yes, it's been audited and poke at it. And if you're worrying about the infrastructure by which they host it on, they have completed a SOC type two and SOC three audit, and they've got the details on here. Let's talk about Bitwarden though as the company. Bitwarden started as an open source password manager. A lot of people asked me about using it and I said not until it was audited. It went through some audits and then I got around to moving from LastPass over to Bitwarden earlier this year in January of 2020, I think is when I first started using it and somewhere not long after is when we actually switched to it. Now, here we are in October of 2020 and I'm really happy with it. We've watched it go through a few updates. We've seen bugs get fixed and we've seen features get added and we're self-hosting it. This is why I mentioned the updates because uh, the updates come via Docker images. We do a Docker poll and get the updates. And so far, it's migrated all the data. They did a nice job the way they containerized it with Docker, keeping all the different services separate and the data separate. So it's easy to understand if you're familiar with how Docker architecture works of keeping your data separate from the application layers. And that way, the components can be all updated. And that's all worked really well. Now, using it as an IT business, I know someone's going to say, what about KeyPass or any of these other ones? And I never found them quite as scalable because one of the challenges is we have hundreds of clients. That challenge means having those clients, having to have unique passwords, not a stupid password scheme that you thought no one would guess. That's one of those roll my eyes. We've done IT takeovers where we see people come up with a scheme by trying to add some common digits to a common password, like relating it to their address or something like that of the physical address of the client. Don't do that. You need unique passwords. If you have some type of admin accounts you need to create on clients and frequently as an IT provider, this is something you need to do. Then you have the next problem. You have a team of people and they need to be able to get to these passwords or they can't service the client. So you have to have a way to manage all of this. Bitwarden gives you that granular password options 
It allows you to share it with your teams. And for those wondering, yes, there's directory synchronization with Active Directory, et cetera. It's not a feature we're using, but it is something they do offer on Bitwarden so you can synchronize things to it. Now, one of the problems I have with some of the solutions that are out there that exist now, and no, I don't have an exhaustive list of all of them, or I don't know what's gonna be coming out in the future from the time I make this video to the time you may be watching it, but a lot of these other companies, my first fatal flaw with any of them, can the backend people, the whoever runs those companies, see my password. This is something that LastPass and Bitwarden solve by simply not having your password. They handle all the encryption in the browser or in the application. So when you type in your master password, hashes are compared is the simplest way. There's a lot more complexity to it than that. But they make sure that the decryption layers that are occurring happen on your client, not at their end. That way you're not passing a password, even though you type it in the browser, you are not passing the password over to them, they don't have access to the password. That password decrypts the blob as it's referred to, the encrypted blob. Like I said, this is still describing both how LastPass and Bitwarden work. And then the decrypted blob decrypts and opens up in the application and now there's all your passwords. So if there was an insider threat at one of these back ends of the company, Bitwarden or LastPass can't read your password. That's an important aspect and that helps reduce threat surface because insider threat is very real here in 2020. So I thought I'd get that out of the way that that is the functionality by which these work and companies that don't work that way are immediately off my list. And as I said, I don't have an exhaustive list, but that's a question you can ask any sales rep. Hey, can who in the back end can see my passwords? All right, I'm not using you is kind of how that conversation goes with me. Because, well, it's just kind of scary to me that we have a lot of passwords and someone might be able to see them. Now let's talk about some functional features that I really like about Bitwarden. And a lot of this video was prompted by this blog post. And I thought it's a good write-up that's just from October 7th, Bitwarden for MSPs. And they kind of address some of the complaints I've heard, and some of them are kind of annoying, but I'll address this one right off front. Reseller program. They do allow you to resell it, but I've seen some companies just be upset because there's not like a commission channel partner only program. And I've seen people say, well, it's a great solution, but if I can't make money selling that solution to my clients, I can't recommend it. And that's not the way I start with a product. I start with, will the product provide the best in class service for my client? And cool if it has a resale program. If it doesn't, if it's the best in class for my clients, then it's something we're gonna look at. Us using it, vaults for every client organization, easy management for a dozen of clients, streamlined user provisioning and deprovisioning for clients. This is some of the things I talked about, like the directory connector, uh, which they have right here, syncing users with different things like Active Directory, LDAP, Azure, G Suite, One Login, et cetera. So there's a lot of different options on there. Organizational vault, health reports, cloud or on-premise or self-hosting options. Now this is where maybe I'm a little bit owner overly cautious because we choose to self-host Bitwarden and it's gone really well self-hosting it. The cloud version, they've gone through a SOC audit, so we know they've got solid infrastructure, but also being able to self-host this internally and adding that extra layer of confidence and protecting it behind a VPN. So even though I'm self-hosting it and keeping it up to date, which their auto updater, well, updating tools, I should say not auto, but updating tools they have work really well and have gone very smooth. Also being behind a VPN means if there was some type of flaw that buys you essentially kind of extra time. Someone has to be within my network to exploit said flaw in between the time a flaw may have been discovered or an update in an update been applied. Having this behind a VPN just, well, it's one more security layer that I feel comfortable with. And it's worked out really, really well using this all this year so far for about, what, about six or seven months now, I think we've been using Bitwarden. Cross-platform compatibility. And this is something that's really important because obviously for those of you that follow this channel, you know I'm a Linux user and Linux, no problem. Windows, no problem. Uh, if you want to use the phone app, which we don't use because that's where we keep all of our 2FA stuff. So I do keep it off of the phone. That's just me being a little bit, you know, tinfoil hat maybe, but hey, it's got compatibility for all those options. And as I mentioned, Bitwarden for value added resellers. In addition, partners can resell Bitwarden product as is and let Bitwarden handle customer technical support. So for those of you that are looking for an option to sell Bitwarden, it does have that option. I will mention too, their pricing is right up front and on here. So if you want to go with the self-hosted, that would be the enterprise version right here. You go through, create the organizational steps and uh, 
then you have the self-hosted option right here, or you can just play with the free version, set up a demo, et cetera. And I have no offer codes or affiliate codes. Like I said, I'm not reselling Bitwarden uh, to you as in people watching here on YouTube, but I am mentioning it as something that they do have the option and offerings so you can resell it. So this is my endorsement of Bitwarden. I do like it as a product. It does help reduce threat surface by not having people on the back end that can see it. It does let me keep my tinfoil hat nice and tight uh, when it comes to security, the fact that I can self-host it. It does make it easy for me to manage me and my staff and have granular levels of permission so I can practice principles of least privilege properly and understand what people have access to and share and sync all those passwords. And the directory sync is something we're looking at too as we look into different organizations and being able to synchronize it, I think it's an overall great solution. Now we moved from LastPass and for those of you that may be considering moving off another password manager, they do have import and export options. So if you import into Bitwarden from one of those other options, that was actually pretty pain free. And I like the fact that they have an export option. So if you decide, I don't like this tool, I want to move away from it. They don't lock your data up in some weird format. You can get the data back out and then move it into the next platform that you need to move it into, whatever makes you happy. These are things that I think are really important for when you're choosing a password manager and a password management system. And this helps bring up that level of security because it easily lets you have very unique, very high entropy passwords for all of your clients, which I'm hoping all of you do. I'll leave a link to as well to my Bitwarden review and something that was mentioned when I did a video about MSPs getting breached. I've dealt with, I did a video with Huntress Labs. We talked about this. And one of the things that really accelerates these breaches is the fact that common passwords are frequently used at managed search writers because they don't want to use uh, some of these different type of password managers, or they do use them and just keep using common passwords across a lot of clients. So in a breach type situation, having the same password everywhere makes it easier for that type of lateral movement. This is why it's so important to have a good password manager. I still am using Bitwarden. And if that ever changes, I'll do a video on it or you know, tag me on Twitter if you're curious, if you're watching this sometime in the future, hey, Tom, you're still using Bitwarden. But as of October, 2020, I, I am completely impressed by the product. The updates have gone well. The whole system I'm excited about and really happy with and just wanted to share my thoughts on it as a, a good solution for password management. All right, thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.